Hello there! Welcome ladies and gentlemen. I am about to take you on a little journey, in fact. We are going to take a trip musically and geographically to Ireland. To Cork, in fact. You see, in Ireland we have a tradition that we call Bohontiacht, where people get together in a room, much like this one. Friends, families, lovers, ex-lovers, enemies, whatever it may be. And uh, they get together to play cards, to chat, to sing, to listen to music. And uh, that's what I want to create for you all tonight. So I'm going to give you a little sample of the magic that we call Bohontiacht, but right here in Wrocław. So I hope you enjoy. So I'm going to start now. You see, Bohontiacht and this song that I'm about to sing, all of these songs are called Shannos, which means the old style. So it means that, again, it would be like this in a very casual setup, which means there would be no accompaniment. Just the voice alone and the words, the poetry of these songs. So unfortunately, I don't think we have many people who speak Gaelic here tonight, but take my word for it, it's pretty special lyrics. So the first song I'm going to start with is called Colleen Das Krutenemo, and it's a song of love and of longing. Just let me take a sip. <laughs> song is all about the local gossip. You see, this was in an era before Facebook, before Twitter, before of these kind of online, r online rants. So if you wanted to get the dirt on someone, the best way they found to do it was through song. So people would visit village to village, chatting, talking, and then as the instruments would come out and the songs would start to be sung, uh -huh then we realize, ah, so Mary from the other village has been seeing John from this village, but her son told me that her cousin told her, that her sister told her, and you get the idea. <laughs> so this is a song, and I would like you to help me to create the atmosphere. So again, in Ireland, this is a very interactive thing. So this is a song with a beat. So I need you to help me to create the beat. So what we're going to do is we're going to clap together. I'm going to give you the rhythm and you're going to join in. Okay, are you ready? 
Excellent. Here we go. So this song is called Kaila Chanarigid, which is the hag with the money. So as you can see, yeah, Irish people are very complimentary to one another. <laughs> <clears throat> so. <laughs> she the bum boy, she the bum boy, she the bum boy, she Kaila Chanarigid. She the fun boy of all his water, it's got a she goes, she won't work a shiny girl. The background sing was a dunny name, snow, you go in for your own, I got a knee. I she saw a new rare toss, you can look just with the kind of her body girl. She the fun boy, she the fun boy, she the fun boy, she kind of her body girl. She the fun boy of all his water, it's got a she goes, she won't work a shiny girl. Massen do rosa, massen do rosa, massen do rosa, kein noch in der Regie. Das am Nachos, ich weiß am Nachos, mein Gott, ich rock, ist wohl auch in der Regie. Schitte vom Boi, schitte vom Boi, schitte vom Boi, ich kein noch in der Regie. Schitte vom Boi, ja, wolle ich schwör, ist gar nicht schick, ich will auch in der Regie. Gar nicht in Fossi, gar nicht in Fossi, gar nicht in Fossi, ich will doch an alle schön. in Ireland they always tell a story of some kind and you see the thing is the Irish language was kind of our secret language that Ireland like Poland had a very difficult history being a colony of the UK for a long long time we had to find a way to communicate amongst ourselves without being caught by the British authorities so the next song I'm going to sing is kind of one of these secret songs it has a hidden message so you see, in Ireland, we have songs that are called Queena, which means a lament. And generally, there is always someone called a rune, which means my love or my precious one. But the rune never spoke about a person. The rune spoke about our country and our freedom. So in this particular song, it's called Unposhtin Fion, which literally translates as the golden child or the one with the golden hair. Now, to the British authorities, this is just a simple song of these, you know, these peasants, they have their nice culture and they want to sing to their children. But little did they know that uh, there were things being told in these songs that they would never understand. So this is Unposhtin Fion. Maroon is my cry, yes, to 
samarun es Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now I want to create a scene for you. So as you can imagine, back in the day, we didn't have central heating. So of course, all of these little houses or cottages would have been heated with an open fire. And as the evenings drew in and the leaves started to fall, autumn was coming, just like now. People would draw closer and closer to the fire and sing and talk and share stories. So this song is a very gentle song. It's actually traditionally a lullaby. So what I would like you to do is just close your eyes and imagine the heat of the fire on your face as you're surrounded by just by candles like this. No artificial light. And you have the flickering of these flames and maybe the smell of turf. That in Ireland we take turf from the bogs to burn in our fire. So it's this very distinctive earthy smell. So I just want you to close your eyes and imagine that as you listen to this song. Okay, my next song is the only one that actually has English in it. So again, as I said, Irish has always been our secret language in songs and in poetry. But interestingly, as the British began to cop on that, okay, these Irish peasants aren't as easy to oppress as we thought, unfortunately, they had to figure out a new way. So they started to censor the culture of Ireland too. So what they started to do was insist that songs had to be partially in English, or that they would translate the song so that some of the verses would be in English and some of them would be in Irish or in Gaelic. But you see, the Irish aren't that easy to play with. So what we would do is we would have one version of our verses in English, which were either neutral or quite complementary to our British overlords or landlords, and then we would have another verse in Irish, which would slander them to the ground, which would curse their children, which would wish them to rot at the bottom of the ocean, which would wish their eyes to be eaten out by crabs. So yeah, as you can imagine, uh, we had quite the imagination. So this song is uh, a little bit like that, that the verses are in English, and then the curve for the chor chorus is in Irish. So this song, again, here we hear about the rune. So this is Shula rune. Mm. 
I wish I was on yonder hill Till there I'd sit and cry my fill Until every tear would turn a mill It's good day to move on I'll sell my rock, I'll sell my reel, I'll sell my only spinning wheel, for to buy my love a sword of steel, it's good day to my forenames long. violent red around the world I'll beg my bread until my parents shall wish me dead it's good day to my forenames long shul 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 arun shul ga sokar age shul ga So I'm going to finish now with a song that's called Fill a Ruin. So the song previously was called Shul a Ruin, which means walk my love. It was uh, an appeal from a young woman of Ireland, uh, someone who really believed in Ir Irish freedom. It was telling her love that I want you to go and I want you to fight for our country and I want you to go to war. But as you heard, it's quite a sad song because she knew that it was very unlikely that he would ever return. So the lyrics mean it's shul arun, walk my love, shul ga soccer and shul ga kyun, walk peacefully and walk quietly. Walk shul ga dara sagas eliglam, walk to the door with me and escape. It's good day to your vor the vorning slan and it means may your soul or may your spirit find an afterlife. So it was kind of an acceptance of the realities of the time. But on the opposite side of things, I'm going to finish with a song which is called Fill a room, which means return my love. And this one, interestingly, doesn't actually have anything to do with the British. Um, it's to do with the church, because Ireland has a long line of oppressors. <laughs> um, and the church was, yeah, it was one of them. But this song, it's not really about the oppression of the church. It's a, a mother speaking to her son that her son has decided he's abandoning the Catholic Church because of the opulence of the churches at the time. Like Ireland was a very impoverished, con impoverished country, and yet you had these big churches, you had these chalices, chalices, you had, you know, quite a lot of wealth within these institutions. So he decided to leave for a more modest lifestyle in the Protestant church, and of course his poor old mother was not happy with that. So this is her appeal, please my son, have some sense and come home. So fill a ruin.
گذشته So ladies and gentlemen, that's the finish of my songs, but I just have one more thing that I actually want to teach you. You see we have another their fabulous Irish singer and artist coming up here, Fia Rua, and I need you to be prepared mentally for this. You see, in Ireland, when we applaud, if someone sings a song, we don't sit there and we politely applaud. You can call us savages, you can call us whatever you want. But if we hear a song that we like or a piece of music that we like, there's only res one response for that. And that response is this. Eww! <laughs> so I need you to please practice with me because he is about to come up and he needs to receive this sort of sound as a reward for all of his hard work. So I'm going to count you down and on three I need you to give me your best Irish you that you can. Okay, are you ready? So on three we have one, two, three. Eww! Excellent. I mean, you could practically be Irish. You're adopted. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a pleasure, and I hope you have the loveliest evening.